What's up guys, today we're going to have a look at a bunch of different ways you can use the new magnetic mask effect in Final Cut Pro. This first one is one of my favorite ways to transition between video clips. We have the zoom through transition and the magnetic mask effect is going to make this so much easier in the future. So here I have my two video clips and instead of a straight cut, I want to zoom through this painting on the wall here. So what I'm going to do is move forward on my video about a second or however long you want to make the transition and just cut the video clip here. And then on this first part, what we can do is go to the magnetic mask effect and add that to the video and then just click on what you want to mask out and then hold down option to select the parts you don't want. So now we have a nice selection of this painting and we can click analyze and that will now track the mask to that painting. Once it's done, let's click done up here. So now we're just left with the painting and what we need to do is go up to the magnetic mask effect here, click on this shape mask and then click invert masks. Next, let's go to the crop tool over here and go to the Ken Burns effect. And we want to switch the end box so that it fits the frame using this button here. And then the start box, we can make nice and small so it fits in the mask here. And then right click and make sure ease in is selected. That will give it a nice smooth movement out of the transition. So now we have the zoom out. Now we can copy and paste this layer. And on the bottom layer, let's go up to the mask and just click invert masks and then go back to the crop tool and just move the start box off to one side. And now if I play that back, you'll see the painting slides on. We can even crop this bottom layer if you want the background to slide on after. Now what we can do is bring this over the first video clip. And if I play that back, now we have this nice smooth zoom through transition. And let's say we wanted to add an effect to the painting after the transition, we can copy and paste this video clip and just trim, trim the end of it. And on this one, let's just add an effect real quick. We go to the presets. Let's go to the effects expansion pack. And an effect I like to use is this light wipe effect. And I'm just going to drag that onto the painting and then select the painting, hold down option, get rid of the parts we don't need, and then click analyze, click done. Now we have this cool light wipe effect on the painting and that just shows how quickly you can add some creative transitions and effects now with this magnetic mask effect. There are some effects where you have to add the mask first. You can't just drag the effect on. So just bear that in mind. If the effects aren't working when you drag them onto the video, then delete the effect and create the mask first and then add the effect afterwards. Moving on to this next transition, we have this first shot leading in to this second shot here. And on this video clip, we have this beam wiping across the screen. And this is a really good opportunity to create a mask transition where the beam wipes the video off of the screen, re revealing the second clip. So let's try this with the magnetic mask effect. Let's cut the video clip right here before the beam comes onto the screen. Let's go to the middle point, go to the magnetic mask effect and just select this beam and then right click and deselect what we don't want. Then let's click analyze. Now the mask is going to track the beam. And then if we click done, so now we just have this image of the beam. We can go back and clean up a few of these frames where the mask loses the track. And I find it better to do this frame by frame instead of clicking analyze again. So now what we need to do is copy and paste this video clip. And on the bottom layer here, Let's disable the mask. And because this is a straight line, we can use the crop tool to crop the left hand side of the video because it's wiping from left to right. And then if we keyframe this crop here so that the crop follows the beam. And then we can drag this second video clip underneath. And now that beam will wipe the video off of the screen, revealing the second video clip, which is a really nice transition. If you wanted to clean up the mask, then you can always use the matte magic effect on this. If you have the effects expansion pack, we can actually shrink that edge to get rid of the white parts and it may shrink the bottom and top of the video clip. So we can just scale up the Y position very slightly to get rid of these edges. So moving on to the next point, 
we can now easily add titles behind a person or a subject, which is a really a nice effect to do. On this video clip, let's copy and paste it. And on the top layer, let's add the magnetic mask effect and just select the subject and click analyze. Now it's going to track the mask and cut the person out of the video clip. Now we can click done and let's go over to the titles and let's add a title in between the two video clips. So now we have the title behind the subject, just adds more depth to the video clip and it's a really easy thing to do now. Another little trick we could do is on the top layer, let's go to mask and keying and add a luma key effect onto this. And over in the parameters, let's drag this slider to the left and you'll see how the title kind of comes through. So what we can do is keyframe this, move forward slightly and then slide these to the other side. So now that title will kind of like bleed into the front of the person right there. This leads on to the next way we can use this tool is for color grading. So now we have different layers. We can actually color grade the different layers. So let's say we want to create like a color pop effect on the bottom layer, on the background layer, we can select it, go up to the color board. Let's go to saturation and turn the saturation right down. We can even turn down the exposure to make the subject stand out more. And on this top layer, let's go to hue and saturations curve. And on the hue versus saturation, let's click the color picker and select the red top right here. And then we can boost the saturation on that. And then let's also go to the color board. We can boost the exposure. So now the subject is standing out of the background and we get this kind of isolated color effect. We could even go one step further, copy and paste the top layer. And on the bottom layer, we can add a glow effect, change the settings. We can change the color. We want this red theme. So now we have this pretty cool looking shot with a few effects, really easy to do. Moving on to this last one, which is the sky replacement effect, where half of the video is time-lapse and half of the video is normal video. And this one's really easy to do now with the magnetic mask. Here is the original video clip. So first thing we need to do is add the magnetic mask onto this and just select all of the foreground and the subject and then let's just click analyze once we've removed the sky then let's just turn down the feather slightly on the parameters up here then we can drag our time lapse video underneath that video clip and now we've really easily created that half video half time lapse effect so another really cool one to try with the magnetic mask effect and yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.